we see more and more people from uh, from cities in particular within this region, uh, Kampala, Nairobi, who are coming to us and asking for um, support on their technology ideas that help increase free expression. Feel it that there's a sort of a policy hunger, people that want to change um, the way that they're not necessarily governed, but they want, they want to be governed better. Uh, technology is a tool, it's only ever 20% of the solution, and, and more importantly, um, it's only as good as the need that's been identified before that first line of code or the first screw is turned on any tool, which um, I think really get to know the need before you try to develop the solution. And, and I think that that's, uh, that's not being preachy, that's just you have an opportunity, I think, to develop technology that's more appropriate, um, that, that lasts longer, that's more effective. Uh, and maybe that's because you understand your problem so much better. So that's the other thing is fight the urge to use someone else's tools from somewhere else. Um, as in, take ownership of your own challenges, know that I think to me, it feels like you have enough expertise to start building your own solutions um, and leverage those of us that are willing to, to support you to do that and then to support someone else to help you do that. Um, the big phrase that a lot of the tech-centric folks is sort of build with uh, rather than build for and, and make sure that you're building with people who understand you are as close to home as possible and, and are a part of the issue, not just um, sort of looking at the issue. Um, I hope that that's what our role is to support more of that, and I think that you all are doing it anyway, so it's great.